In a previous video, we discussed about the various branches of electrical engineering offered in Tibet institutions and universities in Kenya. If you have not watched the video, watch it on the link shown here. In this video, we are going to make a similar attempt by discussing the various branches or subfields of mechanical engineering offered in Tibet institutions and universities in Kenya. I have also made a video on why you should not drop physics in high school if you intend to pursue a career in an engineering course. And which topics in mathematics that are very critical in high school if you intend to pursue a career in electrical engineering or a career in mechanical engineering. If you have not watched the video, also watch them on the link shown here. These videos are meant to help you make an informed decision on which career to pursue, especially in engineering and sciences, and as a result, avoid mistakes I've seen people make in my career as a technical and vocational trainer. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave me a comment in this video. Because the subscription and your comments really go a long way in helping this channel to be able to create more content for you. If you also know a student who is in high school, or a parent or a guardian who has a child in high school, also share the link to this video to them. To start with, mechanical engineering is very broad and can be broken into a number of subfield. The first one being HVAC, which is heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration. At the next examinations, this subfield is not offered in Tibet institutions in Kenya, but it's being offered by Tibet ASIDAC, which is a new entrant in technical education. So, probably in the near future, HVAC will be very common in Tibet institutions in Kenya. The second branch of mechanical engineering is mechatronic engineering, which is a combination of mechanical engineering, electronics, and things to do with computers. Mechatronics mostly deals with automated manufacturing and processes. Devices like robots, unmanned aircraft, automated cars, automated equipment, or for other subfields of mechatronic engineering. The third subfield of mechanical engineering is manufacturing, and manufacturing is a field of engineering that deals with design, production, and operation of machinery. The fourth branch of mechanical engineering is automotive engineering, which majorly deals with production and maintenance of vehicles. The fifth branch of mechanical engineering that I'm going to mention in this video is aerospace engineering which can further be subdivided into two subfields, that is, aeronautic engineering and astronautic engineering. Aeronautic engineers work on airplanes, helicopters, unmanned aircraft, missiles, fighter jets, and other areas that involve aerodynamics such as cars, boats, and bullet trains. There are more classifications of mechanical engineering depending on the country or the institution of higher running, but you are going to draw on the one that are found in institution of higher learning in Kenya. In Tibet institutions, that is, the National Polytechnics, the Technical Training Institutes, the Institutes of Science and Technology, and vocational training centers, the subfields of mechanical engineering offered at different levels, that is, artisan, craft, diploma, and higher diploma are as follows. The first branch of mechanical engineering as offered in Tibet institution in Kenya is Mechanical Engineering Production Option, which deals with production of tools, machine parts, construction materials, and domestic appliances. So this course mostly draws on how all these items that we have mentioned can be produced in industry. The second branch of mechanical engineering as offered in Tibet institutions is Mechanical Engineering Plant Option, which mostly deals with operation and maintenance of machines in industries. So a person who have done mechanical engineering plant option will mostly work in an industry where he will be operating various mechanical machines and maintaining this mechanical machine. The third branch of mechanical engineering offered in Tibet institution is automotive engineering, which as we had said earlier, mostly deals with production and maintenance of vehicles. So a person who have done automotive engineering can work in an industry that is manufacturing vehicles or he or she can work in businesses that are maintaining vehicles. 
Then number four, you have construction plant engineering that mostly deals with operation and maintenance of construction equipments or the earth movers. Here we are talking of the equipments or the machines that are used in construction of roads and in other civil engineering works. The fifth branch, which is mostly in agricultural engineering, is agriculture engineering, farm power and machinery option. And of course here, this person will work mostly on operation and maintenance of machines that are used in large-scale farm. That is the combined harvesters, the tractors, and other such kind of equipments or machineries. Sixth branch of mechanical engineering as offered in Tibet institution in Kenya is mechanical engineering, fabrication technology, and metallurgy option. This mostly deals with fabrication of equipment that are required in various civil engineering works, like structures or beams for the house, bridges, and so on. Then seventh branch, there is aeronautical engineering, airframes and engine option. And as we had said earlier, this one will mostly deal with maintenance of aircraft, helicopters or fighter jets. Then finally, there is mechanical engineering, materials technology and metallurgy option, which again is a more specialized subfield of production engineering. I also made an attempt of checking the various university websites and the various subfield of mechanical engineering that are offered in universities in Kenya are as I will go through in the next few minutes. So if you are confident you are someone who will score a grade that will take you straight to the university, then the remaining part is for you. Now let us go through the courses that are offered in the universities in Kenya. The first website that I checked is for Nairobi University and I saw they offer a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and Manufacturing Engineering. At Jomo Kenyatta University of Science and Technology, that is JQuat, I checked and they offer Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Mechatronic Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Mining and Mineral Processing, and Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering. At Ingaton University, I checked they offer Bachelor of Science in Manufacturing Engineering Technology, and Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology. An industrial engineer basically looks at a process of production as a whole and thinks of how he can possibly make it better. Then at Moy University, they offer a Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering and Production Engineering. At Mosita Molito University, they offer a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and Industrial Engineering. At the Nanchimadi University, they offer a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and Bachelor of Science in Mechatronic Engineering. At Technical University of Kenya, that is took, they offer Bachelor of Engineering, that is Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Engineering in Aeronautical Engineering, and they offer a Bachelor of Technology course, that is Bachelor of Technology in Mechanical Engineering. Maybe to differentiate between the Bachelor of Science courses and Bachelor of Te Technology courses as offered in uh, Technical University of Kenya, a Bachelor of Science course will take a total of five years for somebody who is graduating from high school and Bachelor of Technology course will take a total of four years for somebody who is graduating from high school. Bachelor of Science course usually have a higher entry level or a higher intake point. And this person at the end of the course is registered as a graduate engineer. So he will be more of an engineer. And a person who have done Bachelor of Technology course who takes four years will be registered as a technologist. And this course basically has ROI entry level or it requires ROI score to be able to be admitted in this course as compared with the Bachelor of Science course. Then at University of Erdogan, they offer Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and Production Engineering. At Technical University of Mobasa, similar to Technical University of Kenya, they offer Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and Bachelor of Technology in Mechanical Engineering. So basically that is how things are in the local universities. But where you study, whether it's at the universities or at the TVET institutes, will mostly depend on your performance in high school. So if you want to go direct from high school to the degree level, you have to work harder in sciences and mathematics so that you can score a high cluster point. But if you do not manage or is, or is not lost, there are so many branches of mechanical engineering that are offered in various TVET institutions. And one advantage of studying in these TVET institutions, that is in the National Polytechnic, Technical Training Institutes, Institutes of Science and Technology, and Vocational Training Centers, is in these institutions, 
the courses are very practical. Other person who have done engineering courses at Tibet institutions, a lot of times end up being more prepared in terms of the technical skills required for the job. So as we had the video, remember if you know someone who is in high school or a parent or a guardian who has a child in high school, do not forget to share the link to the video with them. In the next video, I'll be going into more details of the various subfield of mechanical engineering that are offered in Tibet institutions. And mostly I'll draw on mechanical engineering production option, mechanical engineering plant option, and automotive engineering because these are very common in all Tibet institutions in Kenya. Thanks for coming with me this far. I believe I've not wasted your time in this video and certainly not in the next video.